We're here at the allotment again. It's Friday the 13th, so we're rather pushing our luck today. But it's lovely and sunny, so we're going to see what we can get done. One of the main jobs for today is to try and get in these autumn onions. We've got a pack of radar and a pack of sensu. Bed's already done for it, for them. So hopefully we'll get those done quite quickly. I'll just show you what we did the other day when we didn't film. You might remember that I dug over a bed for the annual flowers, the hardy annual flowers. Well, they've been sown now. As usual, we've sown them in trenches of compost and we've covered them with some weed control, for, not weed control fabric, EnviroMesh. There is weed control fabric down there as well. But we've covered them with EnviroMesh. One thing is to keep the pests off, to stop things digging around in the trenches. But also I am hoping that it might actually keep some of the moisture in because it's still really, really dry. We'd like to get some more digging done, but it's just too dry at the moment. So, let's have a little wander to the other part of the plot and I'll show you where the onions are going to go in. I'll just show you these nice little clump of hardy cyclamens while we're passing. We don't really know how they got here. We've got some in the garden. They must have come in with old compost or something. Cast the pears. this is where the autumn onions are going to go. As we've done with the hardy annuals we'll sort of scoop out a trench and fill it with compost. The noise behind me is Martin playing with one of his toys. clearing the car doom because it really is getting in our way now. Just going to walk away from the noise. The autumn onions by the way, last year's autumn onions we're still using, they've been fabulous. If we have time after we've planted the onions I'm going to prune this black raspberry. It's done in very much the same way as the raspberries or the blackberries or the tayberries and that is to cut out all the old uh, canes that have borne through fruit this year and tie in the new ones. So in this case, it's quite easy to tell which is which. The old ones, the old canes are the ones still attached to the fence. With the remnants of last year's crop of berries. They're shriveled and brown. And the new canes are these ones 
that are lovely and white. And that's our jobs for today. We'll come back at the end and see what we've managed to do. So we'll see you in a bit. Time for our second coffee break of the afternoon. Sue has got our black raspberry tied up and all the old canes have been cut out. So that's looking much tidier. It just needs the edge of the path sorting out. Get round to that one day. And whilst this cardoon is still upright and there's a few flowers left on it, the other one I've managed to get it completely chopped down, chopped into bits. The rest of it can dry off now, but you can see it's already starting to send up its new shoots from the base so I'm not expecting that to be a completely bare patch for very long it usually starts to shoot well before winter and we've also managed to get our winter onions planted two rows of radar two rows of sensui <laughs> sensui what should it be Senshu. Two rows of radar and two rows of senshu. <laughs> well, there you go. That's my best effort. Uh, Sue's removing a few butterflies that seem to like to live <laughs> under our environment mesh. <laughs> it's not, not quite as simple as it seems. I just love it under there. I think what's happened is it's a caterpillar we've missed. We didn't go for any under here. No, but maybe there was some. Maybe. They look like new butterflies. Yeah. Where's it gone? I'm not sure. Yeah. And the other thing we've been doing today, believe it or not, is we've been watering the brassicas. Our plot is absolutely bone dry. We haven't had any decent rain for I would have thought a month now. Take you around. I have thought about giving these beans a water, but I don't want to encourage any slugs at the bottom now we've got some beans just about ready to pick. Certainly by the weekend, we'll have some beans ready to pick. I think that once we've had some coffee today, our task will be to do a little bit of harvesting. So we've been, we've watered the brassicas over this side. Now I thought it was watering the brassicas but it seems not to be watering the brassicas but never mind I'm sure there's a plan somewhere. Well our climbing French beans are looking very autumnal apart from those lovely green looking pythons in the middle. So at that, because I've just got sprayed with water, I'm going to have a second cup of coffee in the afternoon before we start harvesting. So see you in a bit. Today's harvest then, uh, tomato is uh, the theme of the day. We're going to have to have a big uh, sort out of tomatoes tomorrow. So this is a box of Shirley from uh, Plot Greenhouse, uh, Albengas from the Plot Greenhouse, a couple of tubs there, and some Roma. Roma. And then finishing off the tomatoes, there's a tub there of all sorts, That's a which have come <laughs> from uh, the coal frame outside. Then we've got some Joan J raspberries, some all gold. And they're becoming a little bit smaller, yeah, are the berries yeah. now? They're fading a bit. Loch Ness blackberries, just yeah. the biggest, bestest ones. Yeah, the unbestest ones are left for the birds. Yeah. Some spring onions, ooh, spring onions. Yeah. 
and a tub of Discovery apples apart from one tickled pink. That was on the ground so I had a good look at it and it was okay so I picked it up, no ants in it or anything. And a surprise squash, it's one of those winter ones. Uchiki kuri. Oh, very good. <laughs> anyway, I was, practicing. I was streaming <laughs> the path when I spotted it in the long grass so I managed to avoid streaming the the skin off it so we've got another one you of didn't those. strim what is it called sorry you didn't strim what is it called this. winter squash what, what is it <laughs> what's its name no you'd say it much better than i do say it after me oh cheeky cheeky curry curry well done cheeky curry just think of being cheeky oh i'll never remember like you <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're off now thanks for watching Bye, Bye for now. Bye.